Right, so first things first, com radio on 261.000, enter, and volume. Then we can go to menu and stores. Then go to menu and electronic warfare. Uh, flaps to install, that's good. And parking brake. I actually rebound my parking brake for the simple reason that uh, anyone who owns the Harrier knows this. And every time you try to adjust your parking brake manually by clicking on it, you will end up in hell. Literally hell. Because right next to it, literally right next to it, in a way that is horrible, horrible it's far too close for comfort, uh, you are very likely to shut down the engine instead. And this is not a fun thing to do. So we have the... they're angled correctly. Let's annoy Frosties, shall we? Let's see, so we are arrayed correctly, anti-skid is on, nose wheel steering is also off, that should do it. Actually, let's do a little bit less angle, there we go. We only want a reduced takeoff stretch, not a vertical one. Yes, we are moving nicely. We have a bit of a heavy cargo here, so we need to ease it up a bit. Yeah, there we go. Shooter airborne, departing Sukumi. And now we'll switch to normal mode. Wheels up. And flaps up. There we go. The first thi thing we will do is switch to air to ground mode. And we will be selecting our sidearms. We will be doing that immediately. Uh, pylon. Pylon set. Yeah, there are the sidearms. So. We are targeting a dam, or rather a power plant next to a dam, somewhere in this vicinity. So I'm gonna turn on the F-10 map, and of course it lags, because the world hates me at the moment. We're gonna climb a bit, uh, watch out for that 29 that we might we seem to have in the vicinity. If we don't see any... Oh, and we might actually want to do Master Arm as well. Uh, if we see any targets of opportunity up ahead in terms of um, strike targets, we're gonna take it out. But right now we are going to head pretty much straight for the dam and also use our main screen to keep our eyes open. Because any SAMs needs to be hit pretty much immediately. Uh, as you can see, there is a target on top of the dam that is our primary concern. Uh, that is a power plant, and hitting power plant usually have benefits for the nearby airfields. Of course, it might actually mean that uh, that particular strategic target has been destroyed, since we can clearly clearly take off with a uh, Harrier from Tsukumi, but I think we got an SA-6 on scope in this direction. And fortunately, it also seems like we might actually have an um, MiG-29 in that direction. And that is not really what I'm... what I want right now.
I gotta let the sidearm sweep for the target. And we'll see if we can do this without any cap watching over us. I also got sniff on a SA-15, hopefully that's not in the same vector. Uh, the SA-6 just dropped from my scope, that's a good thing, they might uh, suspect I'm s trying to sneak up on them. Uh, however, my bomb payload is not, not in any way sufficient for the task of attacking small targets. They are... 100% designed to hit a strategic target. So I'm going to go into the hills here. I'm gonna keep my eyes on the MiG-29 disappeared. That's actually a very worrying sign indeed. I need to keep my eyes open. Make sure he doesn't sneak up on me. Of course he's most likely to succeed because I only have I only have, oh god, that's, yeah, the, those are stars, uh, or at least they should be. Yeah, 29's just reappeared, but they're, they're so far away, it should hopefully not matter. So we are going to do a pop-up here, and once we've seen the valley where the enemy air defenses hopefully are, we are going to uh, launch at them and hope the sidearm can convince our beloved enemy to not do anything drastic like fire missiles at us. Um, the sidearm is more of a suppressive tool than anything else. No, I'm not gonna pull up. In fact, I'm gonna pull down, just because you say it. It appears whatever radars have been in this sector have been destroyed. At least I can't... The, whatever SA-6 is inbound is uh, in the other region. So we get, we're actually going to pull up over the dam for a recce, see if the strategic target is still there. If it is, we'll hit it. If it's not, we'll try and find a secondary target. Yeah, I think that is our... That is our target right there. However, that also means we might need to switch to the... Fuse is on. Mode is CCIP. There we go. We'll come around from the other side of the dam, like the dam busters of old, and then we'll hit the target. The general idea is that the valleys will. Roll out! Roll out! No! Let me roll do out, some low-level flying bitching, Betty. Roll out, roll out. Dear Lord, I can't roll even out, fly this out. plane like it's intended to. Alright, so CCIP is ready roll to go. Out, Trigger finger is ready to go. Bombs should roll be good out, to go. And we have plenty of tries, meaning we have plenty of bombs on board. And we have the target straight ahead. And most likely, we are gonna get out of the blast zone in bomb away well a bomb went away but it didn't hit the target we need to re-engage immediately Radar warning still shows 29s, but still far from us. Alright, let's do this in more of a dive fashion, and... 
Da, da. Pickle. Bomb away. No! No joy, no joy. God damn it. We're being lit up. SA-15 in the F... Where did that SA-15 come from? God damn it. Where did that come from? God damn it. That wasn't there a minute ago. That was why I was sweeping with the sidearm, because previous runs at that site have uh, have uh, revealed that there is AA defending it. So, I packed sidearms to take out the SAM site, but the SAM site never went active, so I couldn't find it. And of course, they are pretty damn difficult to see. So, that's why we ended up like we did. And most likely, Frost is going to see this. And it's going to say that, hey, that's what you get from ta starting off the taxiway, you fool. Uh, 